if, if you give people the truth, even if it's hard hitting, sometimes people appreciate it more if it's hard hitting, if it's demanding, if it, if it re requires something of them. Because what does the world tell you today? You know, everything comes free, everything's cheap, quick and easy. And that's the cheaper, the quicker, the easier, the better. And that's not what fulfills people. You know, mm -hmm, and I think Jordan mm -hmm. Peterson, people like that coming out with these challenging messages like, you mm -hmm. know, make your bed, mm -hmm. get your life mm -hmm, in order mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. actually do something worthwhile, which is giving of yourself to other people. Like, do, I like the things Jordan Peterson says are worthwhile. It's like having a family, educating children, raising kids, doing the difficult thing. Mm -hmm. But all of those things that actually fulfill us mm -hmm. and people realize this deep down are things that where we give of ourselves. Mm -hmm. We give ourselves away and we in turn find ourselves paradoxically. Right. Yes, yeah. And Pope <coughs> Francis is a wonderful quote on that. Um, life is good when you're happy, mm -hmm. but it's much better when others are happy because of you. Um, and to echo that, you know, we use Sim John Paul II's definition of freedom quite a lot, don't we, in mm -hmm. our in our talks. Um, yeah. Freedom is not so much the ability to do what I want, um, but the power to do as I ought. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really, it's life altering, um, mm -hmm. that, that kind of definition of freedom. Hello, hello, welcome to the Pure in Heart show. <laughs> and we have a special uh, show today. So we're taking a break from our book uh, that we were doing for the past, I'd say, six months, hasn't it? Quite uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> so Men, Women, the Mystery of Love will come back. But uh, today we just thought it was really just providential that we're on a fantastic mission week. Uh, praise God. And so we have in studios for the first time with us as a Pure in Heart mission team, Ellen Moynihan. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Super. So we're going to, you know, take a break and just kind of talk about life, talk about the mission, talk about pure in heart, what we've been up to, what's to come, how you can get involved. Um, and also, yeah, some fantastic events and retreats that are upcoming and our Medjugorje pilgrimage, our NOC uh, community retreat. So all the, you know, the details will be coming. And uh, yeah, so... Thank you for joining us. So, we'll start with the prayer, will we? Please. Yes. So, we will do our special prayer, protection prayer, so, that we have been saying for our mission, especially starting our international <coughs> mission. Um, so, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, I praise, I praise and thank you for all you have given me. me. Please, Please cover me with the protective, precious blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, and increase your Holy Spirit in me with his gifts of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, hunger for prayer, guidance, and discernment to help me know your will and surrender to it more completely. Father, please heal my negative emotions and any wounds in my heart and spirit. Send the sword of your Holy Spirit to sever and break all spells, curses, hexes, voodoos, Hoodoo and all negative, negative genetic, intergenerational and addictive material, past, present or to, come, or to come, known or unknown, against me, my relationships and family, finances, possessions and ministry. Father, I forgive and I ask forgiveness for my sins and failings, and I ask that my whole person, body and mind, heart and will, soul and spirit, memory and emotions, attitudes and values lie cleansed, renewed and protected by the most precious blood of your, of your son, son Jesus. Jesus. In the name, power, blood, and authority of Jesus Christ, I bind and break the power and effects in or around me of any and all evil spirits who are trying to harm me in any way. And I command these spirits and their companion spirits in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit to leave me peacefully and go immediately and directly to the Eucharistic presence of Jesus Christ in the closest Catholic Church, Tabernacle, to be disposed of by Jesus and never again return to harm me. Dear Holy Spirit, please fill up any void in me to overflowing. With your great love, all this, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, by the guidance of your Holy Spirit, Immaculate Heart of Mary, Spouse of the Holy Spirit, please pray for me and with me. Amen. Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. That is an amazing prayer. I found it in From Gangland to Holy Land. 
by John Pridmore, John Pridmore's autobiography. If you want us to send it to you, well, you can either buy his book <laughs> or you can email us and we'll send it on to you as well. It's a very powerful prayer for protection and healing and it has served us greatly on our missions uh, this year. So it's, it's amazing, really, really powerful invocation. Praise God. So, uh, Alan, uh, thank you so much for joining us. And first of all, thank you for saying <coughs> yes on this crazy mission <laughs> of your in heart since, um, yeah, I believe it's been Fatima was the first time that you kind of really got involved with in heart. Um, and then it was Medjugorje. So would you like to share anything about those two trips and just kind of how... Yeah, how kind of then you decided to, oh, yes, I will go to this prayer group. And <laughs> how did the I ball know? get rolling? <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, I had known Father Alan O'Sullivan for quite some time um, due to my time in Trinity College. Uh, Father Alan being our um, spiritual director of the mission. And yeah, when I heard he was a part of the mission and the Fatima trip in May 2022 and... Um, subsequently World Youth Day um, it just it seemed natural to to join up um, and to be part of part of the team uh, yeah brilliant yeah praise God yeah. so yeah so Father Alan is our spiritual director um, what a man amazing from the Dominicans uh, and he's a doctor in theology of the body and uh, yeah he's been instrumental to us and to mm. our formation and giving the retreats and the talks and being so literally the father uh, of of Pure in Heart. Um, so, yeah, so, Alan, you then joined uh, going to the prayer meeting in September, and then in November you got really stuck in then in the office. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And how, how's that been? Like, how's it been for you? Because it's really interesting to hear that because I don't really, I don't get to reflect on it myself. <laughs> so it's great. It's great to have somebody to go. She's kind asking, of... what's it like working with her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, um, it's, you know, it's been a privilege, and it's, it's sort of a great way to integrate the desire for mission with a kind of a workplace setting and that charism for administration. Um, and to know that every phone call we make, every email we send mm. is, you know, even if we don't get a response or a reply or a, um, an invitation to a school or whatever, it's still planting that seed towards, I suppose, the eternal and, and the kingdom. And mm -hmm. um, Helen sometimes says to me, oh, it's very discouraging when, you know, schools don't reply or whatever. And I suppose I, I've stopped measuring the, the <coughs> results, I guess. And I've just allowed mm -hmm. God to, to um, send us where he wills. Amen. Yeah, it's like... It's true. It's like, you know, we're the only ones that are making possibly these phone calls and telling them about pure in heart. Mm -hmm. mm. And for some, it's Kieran heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. The, it's, um, I feel like I'm missing something here. <laughs> it's a misnomer that our uh, phone call recipients often make. Um, I say, oh, I'm here, I'm bringing on behalf of pure in heart. And I'll, I'll hear um, the secretary say to the other secretary, Mary, Kieran Harris is on the phone. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, goodness. Dear. Yeah, that's that's been a, a running joke in the office. Brilliant. Yeah, Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Generations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Um, but there will probably be more, like, as we go, as the show goes, we'll remember some more little, um, you know, funny things, little funny anecdotes moments. anecdotes. Yeah. <laughs> But it's like, it's it's been like, Alan, you've been such, um, <coughs> I would say, such a beautiful addition because we've noticed big results as since we've had somebody in um, helping with the mission, helping, mm. you know, with the administration. Um, even, even just helping with the YouTube channel. Exactly. Yeah. Even if it's just part time, you know, it's just fantastic because it's the prayer. Now that it's like where two or more are gathered in my name, I'm there among them. And it's mm -hmm. it, we can see, like, I remember we were in Wednesday, um, this was after Christmas, and, like, we got a donation, like a random donation. A person came to the door, mm -hmm. knocked and said, oh, yeah, pure in heart, we'd like to, I'd like to give a hand in a donation in person. Like, had, mm -hmm. you know, 
if we weren't praying, if Alan wasn't, mm-hmm. you know, if we weren't trying and knocking and asking yeah. the Lord to bless us and to give us opportunities to, to reach more young people and to give us providence as well, because we, we just rely on providence. Mm-hmm. You know, like we've seen these moments like so yes. many times. And even like, you know, even the days when you are... It's just my presence. Yeah, the <laughs> days when you're in joking, with me, joking. we get more phone calls. Yeah. We get wow. more We get more teachers, you know, mm-hmm. asking questions or people, yeah. you mm-hmm. know, like down yeah. in Cork, the teenage mm-hmm. retreat mm-hmm. that Father Morris wants mm-hmm. to do with us. Yeah. Like just these abundant <laughs> blessings yes. are coming. Yes, and it's worth mentioning that <coughs> Helen and I, um, before our working day, we start with an hour of adoration um, mm. and protection prayers and the rosary. And it's really, one day she said to me, this is not so much a career as it is building up the kingdom. And um, I would really, yeah, echo that. And I would just say it's, the integration of the prayer and the work that makes the mission so successful. Yeah. And I guess the team effort as much as anything. We saw that in Cork that day when, you know, Harry, great as he was, he, you know, he felt a little bit tired afterwards. And so it's like Ecclesiastes or Ecclesiastes. It's like mm-hmm. when one falls, the other is there to... Yeah. To be, you know, when one is weak, mm-hmm. the other's there to, to be strong. Yeah, I noticed that majorly in when we were in our Cork trip, when you came along with us. Yeah. It was a completely different vibe. It was like right. we were like a team, a team. and there was, we felt like we had like a prayer, as mm-hmm. you said, a prayer for us. Mm-hmm. And even just when I was talking, I could feel you at the side mm-hmm. just like bombarding right. with the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, totally. And like historically, I think the mission yeah. teams had at least three people so it's yeah. it's just that extra person sometimes it means the world it really yeah. makes a difference yeah yeah it certainly does praise god okay so we'll chat more about the mission and what's upcoming uh we'll go to our very first song break uh which is a gorgeous uh um version of um Salve regina that harry you somehow found it i don't know mm. where you found it by michael patrick kelly gorgeous Okay, welcome back to the Pure in Heart show. So we are doing a very special episode on just our mission. And we are here in the studios live, myself and Harry, and we have Ellen, who is also part of our mission and joined us uh, in September 2023. Um, So yeah, that was a stunning song. And I just wanted to mention that um, I, I heard it first when we were at the missions in Boston. Uh, Philadelphia when we were at the Charge the Body Institute uh, course and Harry yeah brought up this Salve Regina version and it was stunning absolutely stunning and then uh, my cousin he was picking me up then afterwards uh, I stayed a little bit in, in the US just to kind of visit some family and friends and he picked me up and we were having a four hour drive in the car and he had all these different kind of like hippie kind of music and all this kind of one song with some yoga song or whatever. I don't know. But I was like, okay, I want to put on something. Challenge accepted. <laughs> and uh, the kids are kind of like a bit restless and they're kind of like, oh, they're just tired because such a long drive. And then I said, okay, can I put on a song? And I, we put on this, um, this, this uh, version of Salve Regina by Michael Patrick Kelly. And literally halfway through the song, the kids just fell asleep and the car God. the car was a total piece <laughs> great yeah. Yeah. that's a gorgeous song great tip yeah. for any parents listening yeah <laughs> life hack right? yeah, the baby whisper yep. <laughs> I remember we listened to that song after praying the rosary at the TOV Institute retreat in Philadelphia at night time there there's just the most incredible clear skies with all these beautiful like bright stars mm. and we were under the trees which all sort of pointed straight up to these stars and we were listening to this song after we played the rosary it was absolutely stunning yeah just uh, like one of those transcendent glimpses yes. I suppose of the eternal yeah yes yeah. yes mm-hmm. real true beauty it was amazing Great. so your sister I believe is listening in she is <laughs> shout out to Sarah Kate in Medjugorje Zubats in Medjugorje and um, hello good. to all Concerned. (laughs) (laughs) All concerned. I love it. So we're going to be heading over to Medjugorje now in August this year. Uh, We're going to have a nine-day stint for the Youth Festival. Um, So if anybody's interested uh, between the ages of 18 and 35, do get in contact with us. Um, Info at pureinheart.ie is our email. And we'll send you all the details and we'd love to have a chat about it. Uh, it's a, such a special place. I'm really looking forward to it. Grace Your sister's Fields. so lucky. Grace Fields, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the Grace. She did. married a Medjugorian she and did she's indeed. Yeah, full she, time. A once upon a time, an employee of, of Radio Maria and uh, has since um, 
migrated to, to the Balkans and is loving it there. So um, wow. thank you, Jesus. Praise God. She's learning the language, has she? Yes, yeah. Um, like, sl- slowly but surely. And, and also, um, lots of people speak, pretty much everyone speaks English over yeah. there. So it's it's not as if it's a requirement or anything. Yeah. I'd say it's a tough language to learn mm, if, if English is Slavic, your first language. Yeah, yeah Slavic language. Yeah. Gosh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's cool, though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's great. She's starting to understand when she hears Croatian she's starting wow. to pick up bits and pieces that's yeah. fast yeah it's great wow. yeah. that's really yep. cool thank you and how did the whole like Medjugorje and Our Lady um, how did that all start for you because I believe mm. that's very mm-hmm. important for your family and yourself and really you- really pivotal for our family so um, December 8th 2006 it dates back to so um, mm. John Pridmore who you mentioned mm. at the beginning uh, his book and all of that um, came to our parish in 2006, Our Lady, um, that was back in the day when actually the 8th of December we got school off. We don't get that anymore. Oh, yeah. So we were all off Those school. It was a weekday. My cousin was with us and um, went down to Bow Park Church, heard John speak and um, his missionaries um, at the time. And it was life changing. It was uh, It was breathtaking. And then someone in the parish, you know, a few years later, actually, um, recommended that we go to Medj and um and, and we went and we've not looked back since and um through Medj we found out about U two thousand mm. and and then I suppose kind of got more and more immersed in the circles um and once you're in them um you just you just keep hearing more and more about what's going on. So it was really mm. that simple. It was a sort of an organic journey and, and how how um how well Mary led us to her son, I suppose, on her, her day, the 8th of December. Uh, wow. So thank you, Mother Mary. Yeah. It's lovely. Mm. Of course, you did a, a year out in uh, Craig Lodge. Oh, Craig Lodge <laughs> is right. Yeah, I it still need to work on my a self, Scottish accent. Self-described yeah. slice of Medjugorje outside <laughs> yeah, of... Yeah, it's a fruit of Medj, yeah, is right. Yeah, and, um, yeah. Yeah, so my time there was, was really, you know, really rewarding and... It, it's really nourished that place in me that desires to be a missionary. Um, and how well that the second year of being a missionary is in Ireland. And mm. I never really anticipated that. I think we've got wow. this idea in our heads that maybe we have to go to a foreign country to be a mm-hmm. missionary. But, um, but but we can do it at home as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. and sometimes the mission finds you. <laughs> exactly, yeah, that's it. You have to go looking, God, yeah, just, yeah. there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, uh, you know, it's... it's uh, it's great and how naturally it happened after the World Youth Day experience. Wow, yeah. Uh, yeah, that Thanks I God. think eight months on and it's still having fruit in my life, mm. all the new friendships it's given me and just all the memories and mm. um, the prayer group and um, my life's been transformed through the mission. So mm. thanks, Helen. Thanks, Harry. <laughs> if you don't want me asking a brutally straightforward question, where did you learn to be such a good speaker? Yeah, <laughs> when I you was are 11, a very good teacher. When I was eleven, yeah. I had a great teacher actually, and she, Mrs. Mary was her name, and she um, used to say things just in class like children, uh, instead of using words such as run, um, mm. I'd like you to use the word scuttle, <laughs> or, or wow. instead of using uh, the word scary, yeah. I'd like you to use the word petrifying, because yeah. uh, that adds a lot more zest into your English yeah, language, yeah. and mm. I just never forgot that, and, and then I had a Chambers English dictionary at the time, which I subsequently read, mm. <laughs> and um, yeah, I suppose when, you, when you're um, interested in reading, it kind of naturally follows on to... Um, to being a good speaker, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. 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 thanks. Yeah, because when we, um, part of the prayer meetings that we have every Thursday at 23 Marion Square North um, at 7 p.m., we also have a talk. So after the Rosary, Holy Mass, Adoration, uh, opportunities for confession and if you think you haven't had enough there's also <laughs> it's a short talk mm. um, and we you know try to get either the, the priest who's who's the celebrant of um, that prayer meeting or we ask other speakers or even ourselves and so Alan has given a few talks and yeah, you, you can check them out on our YouTube channel so yes. check out Pure in Heart IRE please put in the IRE because you'll mm-hmm. get another Pure in Heart group which is in India which are doing fantastic <laughs> and have over <laughs> 5 million <laughs> subscribers have nothing to do with us <laughs> 
<laughs> so please also subscribe yeah. to our YouTube channel because Harry has put so much work uh, and, and time. Well. Yeah, doing a lot yeah, no, we're we're trying our best to build it. Yeah, and yeah. praise God, it's a fantastic mm -hmm. resource. And if for, for the people who can't come to the prayer mm. meetings but still wish to be in some way uh, informed and receive yeah. the formations, it's a fantastic way uh, to get that. So yeah, Ellen, thank mm -hmm. you so much. And also, Ellen writes fantastic blogs. So you can check out our website, pureinheart.ie, and you can check out a few of her blogs. And she's more, more to write. <laughs> Where to go? So yeah, yeah. Um, what was it being Catholic in a modern world? Is right. And yes. what was the other one? Um, goodness, uh, purity. understanding purity. Understanding purity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And um, my talks. goal is to someday be on the daily reflection of the Magnificat. You mm. know, the way there's like a daily reflection. Mm. To be on that would be like, <laughs> I mean, nice. the creme de la creme, I suppose, of yeah, Catholic um, writing. Very good, yeah, very good. Yeah. Um, That's beautiful. Good yeah. goals to have. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Setting those goals up, yeah. Brilliant. Praise yeah. God, yeah. So we have a hike coming up. Oh, yeah. Glendalock, mm -hmm. Sunday, if you're interested. Um, and we're going to go get food after. At six o'clock. So, what what time are we starting, and where from? So we're it's for all ages. Yep. First of all, so yes. So yeah, <laughs> everyone you know um, is interested who wants to be to get to know the Pure Heart community and also to have a, a great, beautiful day out. out uh, so we're gonna meet at ten a.m. for those who will be carpooling um, from Marion Square from our base. So we're aiming to be at Glendalough uh, before half eleven. So to start the hike for half eleven, um, Father. Thaddy, who is the Glendalock um, priest. Uh, he's amazing. He's a great man, very, very holy man, um, very devout and very solid. And he has his own also YouTube channel, actually, so you can check him out as well. Glendalock, God's Cottage, you can look up. Mm. And uh, he will be the one um, celebrating the Mass for us at 5 p.m. So we'll do the hike first, bring packed lunch with you because we'll have lunch on the way up. Mm. And then uh, Mass at 5, and then after Mass, we will head to uh, social, to um, the Wicklow Heather. Uh, and then, yeah, so you're very, very welcome. Please do send an email uh, just so that we know that you're coming for the for the um, social, for the dinner. Um, and also, if you do need to be carpooled, if you don't have a car, um, we also have a list and we uh trying to get people um, assigned to the cars. So, yeah, info at mm -hmm. pureandhard.ie. <laughs> Seems so. like no time ago at all since we did the last one, actually, which was the 10th of September. Wow, uh, yeah. yeah. Goodness, seven months ago now. Time flies. Yeah, it yeah. really does. This will be the first hike I'm actually going on with you guys. Oh, yes. With the whole group. I didn't go on the last on two. The last... I came to like the dinner after, oh, but right. my, I just was recovering from <laughs> my uh, leg, injury, leg injury. So it's right. I think I'm good to go this time. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> wow, praise God. I thought like we did one two years ago. Maybe you were at that before yeah, the... Maybe. That was, that would have been the... August 22. Actually, I think yeah. I had something else going on that time. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I had to go. I went on mm -hmm. one up the Sugar Dove. Okay. Yeah, that was the only other one. We did a TikTok one. We did a TikTok one. We did TikTok. Well. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I made yeah. those. And there we go. Um, yeah, I mean, recent enough there, about three days ago, um, I went to Waterford um, mm. on behalf oh, of. Oh, yes. On behalf of yes, the mission. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, our fabulous Renata uh, came with us, uh, a Spanish girl who um, is involved in, in mm. the prayer meeting and um, just again. That, that feeling of having an intercessor and someone in the room with you to mm -hmm. support you yeah. spiritually, emotionally, um, and even gave her own opinion um, on, on some of the content I was speaking mm. about is sort of um, complemented mm -hmm. what, what I was saying really beautifully. And to introduce ourselves at the U2000 <coughs> uh, retreat um, as two people, uh, rather than just one, I suppose, gave a real team dynamic. Beautiful. And so uh, regional retreat, uh, there was about 60 or 70 attendees. Wow, and um, and there was about 12 at the talk. And um, Excellent. it was mm. nice that it was a small group because we could discuss a little bit more. And, mm. and perhaps if, if it was larger, um, people wouldn't have felt as maybe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. comfortable mm. maybe um, sharing and... Um, asking questions and interacting um, and I could tell that you know people were absorbing it right up and much like our school missions um, as, as we've all noticed um, there's like this silence that 
you know, in which you can hear a pin drop. Um, mm. It's that effect of um, the content, the material in Pure and Hard Talk. And, and you can tell these teens are just thirsty for mm. the truth, right? Yes. Yeah. Like... You, mm-hmm. you, you could speak to that more, I think, Harry, you know, particularly from our time in Cork. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's so true. I mean, just we've said it before in the show as well, like the thirst that the young people have for the truth when they hear it these days, they've just never heard anything like it. So they don't. They, the good thing is they don't actually have any prejudices because very quickly they realize that any preconceptions they had about what the church might do or say or think or, t- or teach fall away almost immediately. And they just hear something they've never heard before and that speaks directly to their hearts. Mm. And the reaction is spectacular, really. To, 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 I yeah. can't think of another word. The, the blue-haired girl. You yeah, that Helen, you, that is, was, she spoke to you. Yeah. yeah, that was really... I remember it was, our, I think it was our second year, second mm. year... Uh, my my second year kind of being um, yeah. in Pure and Heart as on the mission team and we were in Loretto School in Oma and it was all we spoke to third, fourth, fifth and sixth years um, a lot of girls big big girls school yeah huge mm-hmm. and um, yeah shout out to the staff there because they're phenomenal those teachers are incredible and God bless you abundantly for what you do for those girls you have no idea mm. um, how you impact their lives um, and so, yeah, we were giving the talk. We gave our Pure in Heart talk, and there was this group of women, uh, young girls, uh, who kind of were kind of clustered around each other, and they were not wearing um, skirts. So straight away, I was like, okay, they are uh, going against the system. They're not happy with the system. Arms folded. <laughs> yeah. Arms folded. In a nonconformist <laughs> way. Weights would have shifted, kind of looking at us. Yes, yes. Yeah. and uh, I remember just kind of being like, "Oh my goodness, do I need to adjust what I say? Do I need to be careful what I say?" And yeah. I, I was, I was really hyper analyzing mm. how I was, mm. what I'm going to say, how I'm going to say it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And I remember like the Holy Spirit, which is like, "No, like you just speak the truth. You speak from mm. what, how this has impacted you. How, yes. how chastity is important for right. you." And these girls, then at the very end. We always kind of let them come up if they want to ask us questions one to one. We also have uh, these fantastic pure love booklets uh, from Jason Ever Chastity Project that we give out if they wish to take one. Um, and we also have our, you know, our purity prayer, our commitment, a true love weights commitment. Really beautiful those those mm-hmm. cards. It's kind of like wanting to make a change, uh, and they can sign the commitment card that from this day forward, no matter what I've done in the past. Mm-hmm. I'm uh, trusting that God will take care of my sexuality and mm. I will live God's plan for love. Um, mm. And it's just a beautiful commitment card and they love that. And so these girls were coming up and they were actually taking these cards. And I was like, okay, interesting. And then they, uh, one of their kind of, I suppose, the representative of the group kind of comes forward and... Ringleader. <laughs> so you say the representative <laughs> of the blue hair sort of cronies. <laughs> like, cronies. Brilliant. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and That's like she, she comes forward and she's kind of a little bit nervous and I'm like oh why is she nervous you know yes. and then she kind of uh, you know very gently very soft soft spokenly like she says I from the very beginning of mm. you coming in I knew you were coming in today and I was out to get you I was mm. out to find something that you're going to say that I wasn't going to agree with mm-hmm. and I was like okay I braced myself. <laughs> I was like, okay, here it's going. Something's, she's going to ask some question. Yes. And then she says, I couldn't find anything. Praise God. I was like, wow. I wow. I, I, I literally, I, I got like pure like goosebumps all over mm-hmm, my body. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh my goodness. And I just saw, yeah. I just saw in her eyes just the beauty of her soul. Just yes. like how mm-hmm. precious yes, she's, yes, yes, she, yes. she's loved and mm-hmm. precious in God's eyes. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh my goodness, like this is, this. she's yeah. a beautiful woman. She's a beautiful, mm-hmm. um, and, and any, anyway, she, she basically said, um, I, I'm not a Catholic, I'm an atheist. Uh, can I still practice chastity? Wow. I was like, of mm. course, it's a lifestyle choice. It's for anyone. Yeah. Incredible. And she was like, I totally agree with it. It totally makes sense. Mm. Um, I can see my friends mm. being used. I can see them mm. getting yeah. just mm-hmm. objectified. She's mm-hmm. like, it's so wrong. It's not mm-hmm. how we deserve to be treated. Mm-hmm. And it was just stunning. Mm-hmm. It was yeah. absolutely stunning. For these young people to yeah. hear something other than what the culture offers, it's instantly curiosity provoking and yeah. it's instantly interesting to them um, and like that at the beginning you, you sort of said um, 
oh goodness, will I adjust the message or will I adjust the content of the talk a little bit? And um, I, you know, I know a priest from um, Mayo who um, actually felt like that once upon a time to a, to a crew he was, he was ministering to. And then he opens his uh, Magnificat or whatever it was, mm-hmm. Daily Missile for the Day. And one of the readings uh, was from St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians, I believe. And it um, <laughs> says, woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. Wow. <laughs> so that was very much mm. a, a confirmation of, no, we're not called to compromise the truth. Yeah. And, and you didn't. And, and it changed a life. Um, so thank God for that. I think yeah. that's probably one of the sort of major areas the church falls down and is watering down the faith. Mm. Uh, to try and make it more easily swallowable, Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know. Mm -hmm. And people underestimate how thirsty young people are and also how clever they are. Mm -hmm. Um, It's almost like, oh, no, they're not able to handle the full truth, therefore we're just going to give them, you know, Mm -hmm. piecemeal. And it doesn't do them justice, and they realize that you're having Mm -hmm. a laugh with them. They realize that you're just... Uh, uh, John chapter 6 is coming to me as you say that. um, uh, This is a hard teaching. Few can accept it. Oh, yeah. Um, And Jesus lost half his followers that day. Um, And he says to his disciples... um, Will you leave too? Will you leave also? He's willing to lose everyone. Um, He's uh, quicker than he'd be willing to compromise the truth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Yeah. So true. To whom else Mm. shall we go? (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) exactly. The message of eternal life. St. Peter, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, that's the way to do it. I mean, Mm. you can't, like, if if you give people the truth, even if it's hard-hitting, sometimes people appreciate it more if it's hard-hitting, if it's demanding, if it it requires something of them. Because what does the world tell you today? You know, everything comes free, everything's cheap, quick and easy, and that's the cheaper, the quicker, the easier, the better. And that's not what fulfills people, you know, Mm -hmm, and I think Jordan mm -hmm. Peterson, people like that coming out with these challenging messages like, you Mm -hmm. know, make your bed, Mm -hmm. get your life Mm -hmm, in order mm -hmm, and actually mm -hmm. do something worthwhile, which is giving of yourself to other people. Like, I like the things Jordan Peterson says are worthwhile. It's like having a family, educating children, raising kids, doing the difficult thing. Mm -hmm. But all of those things that actually fulfill us, Mm -hmm. and people realize this deep down, are things that where we give of ourselves. Mm -hmm. We give ourselves away and we in turn find ourselves, paradoxically. Yes, yeah. And (coughs) Francis has a wonderful quote on that. Um, Life is good when you're happy. Mm -hmm. But it's much better when others are happy because of you. Um, And to echo that, you know, we use John Paul II's definition of freedom quite a lot, don't we, Mm -hmm. in our our talks. Um, Freedom is not so much the ability to do what I want, um, but the power to do as I ought. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's really, it's life altering, um, Mm -hmm. that, that kind of definition of freedom. Yeah, for sure. And, um, Speaking on missions, um, we're yeah we're just being really abundantly blessed, um, like we've said before. And two weeks ago we had a teenage retreat. Uh, it was the second one that we've done in Dublin at um, Marion Square, and we had thirty four teenagers come to it, and and you could see like just how filled with joy they were for this. The, the gospel just set them free. The truth and the mm-hmm. meaning that they found out and are learning, and and still so much. Uh, to know more and they're just so enlightened by it and you can see just it's just the weight off their shoulders has mm-hmm. gone off and they're just mm-hmm. you, they're such a substantial there's a stark difference between the teenagers that come on the teen day retreat <coughs> versus the teenagers that we speak to in schools mm-hmm. yes you can see the difference and mm-hmm. it's to do with the faith it's to do with knowing the truth yeah. knowing the message it just sets you free mm-hmm. and yeah, yeah, yeah. you have the ability to to just enjoy your life to the fullest to live it for others mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and not to be bogged down by what the world thinks mm-hmm. and what you're supposed mm-hmm. to do mm-hmm. or or mm-hmm. oh everyone's doing this so oh, I mm-hmm. have to do this mm-hmm. you know and so it's just such, such mm-hmm. a freeing message and so mm-hmm. we've been so blessed and thank God that we're even more blessed that we have the opportunities to mm-hmm. proclaim this message because we're going to be going this week to Donegal uh, so we are asking for your prayers we have um, we can send you we have a Google Doc uh, form like a Word document that we can share that we've been sharing to different group chats asking people to be part of our intercessory team because mm-hmm. 
it's true prayer the souls are touched mm. uh, if we don't do the prayer like we know like if if you don't know what spiritual mm. warfare is come into <laughs> pure heart you know come on to the mission that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but it's yeah. so true but even people were saying to me people who even not on the mission team who just go to the prayer meetings they the struggle to come into the mm. prayer meeting mm-hmm. like I've heard stories like this guy told me like I literally came to the door of pure and heart the blue door 23 number right looking mm-hmm. at me and I wanted to go into the car mm. I wanted to sit in the car I didn't mm-hmm. go, want to go inside mm. Mm. and it's like there's so much <coughs> spiritual warfare especially mm-hmm. like this attack like no don't go don't go don't hear the mm-hmm. truth about your body don't hear the truth mm-hmm. about sexuality mm-hmm. um, yeah yeah certainly and um, there's a one of the great I suppose meeting points um, of that cosmic battle between good and evil uh, is is um, human sexuality. It's it's the relations between man and woman. So how important it is for everyone to hear hear this message. And it's um, you know social media trends change every five minutes. <laughs> and if you are finding your identity in that, well, good luck to you looking for stability and contentment. Um, the only thing that has lasted the test of time is the Catholic Church. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, no, so please God our our talks to the two schools in Gaul and our, the youth group in Letter Kenny uh, as well. That, yeah, please keep that in your prayers. And again, if you do want to be um, part of the intercessory prayer team, please send an email to info pureinheart.ie and we'll send you that you can be a, a pr- part of this um, intercessory a prayer team and pray for our mission, pray for the young people that, that we'll be speaking to and meeting and coming into contact with but it's so true like the, the war like mm-hmm. it's just like any like hearing alpha youth and hearing you know um other other groups uh from the church that go into schools like they just don't have <coughs> that battle mm-hmm. they don't have mm-hmm. that they don't yeah. have that phone call mm-hmm. a week before you're meant to mm-hmm. be given a talk sorry but you can't um mm-hmm. you know the, the principal has said that it's actually bad mm-hmm. timing for you to come next mm-hmm. week um, you know, maybe we can look into this in September. Maybe mm-hmm. we can look into this in September means we don't want to, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's yes. just, it's such an attack, mm-hmm. you know. Yes. Um, and so, like, yeah, it's just such an important message and it just, it's the message that needs to be spoken the most about because it's the message that's being messed up the mm-hmm. most. Yes, yeah, so Christopher West, um, who's actually the author of the John Paul II book study that we've been doing as a team the past six weeks. Um, yep, you can hold it up there. Um, <laughs> Out Theology of the Body for Beginners, uh, written by Christopher West and kind of paraphrasing uh, St. John Paul II's um, pamphlet on, on the TOB. Um, Christopher, in the book, actually writes that that which is attacked the most in society is actually that which is the most sacred. So if, you, if you're looking for what is most sacred to God, to humanity, to the meaning of the world, um, it's that which is most attacked, mm-hmm. which is namely um, the body, sexuality, um, relationships. Um, mm. it, it's, um, it's a deeply tender mm-hmm. part of our human existence. And, of course, the enemy is after it because he knows um, family is the domestic church and family is what will... Uh, influence the course of, of many souls and then their their journey towards God. Yeah, I mean, the devil, he's going to hate marriage mm-hmm. because that's an image of Christ and his church. Mm-hmm. And obviously, the devil wants to separate God from his spouse. Mm-hmm. And once, I can't remember the exact word, you know, when, when man loses sight, man loses sight of God, the creature becomes unrecognizable. Ah, because I can't yeah, remember exactly yeah, how it's worded, okay. but it's sort of like, it's this idea of destroying mm-hmm. uh, a marriage mm-hmm, essentially. Mm-hmm. And obviously the devil is going to mm-hmm. try and destroy mm-hmm. the institution of marriage, right. the sac- sacramental marriage as well. Yes. Yeah. And, and marriage <coughs> is um, sort of a sacramental sign here on earth mm-hmm. below of our union with God uh, in the life to come. Um, I only recently learned this through the book as well, um, that in heaven we're not uh, given in marriage, um, um, we're not received in marriage, um, because that, well, I suppose that eros we have here on earth below is, is a prefigurement of the union with God to which we are called. So we'll be fully, perfectly satisfied in heaven. In the same way, we don't need hope in heaven uh, because our 
you know, the theological virtue of hope is that that through which we hope for heaven, once we get there, the need for it sees us. And mm-hmm. it's, it's much the same with, with marriage. Um, we are in full spousal, covenantal um, communion with God. Mm-hmm. So therefore the sacraments and the, the faith is no longer required mm-hmm. um, in, in, in heaven. So that was another um, deep, deep, profound revelation from Christopher West that mm-hmm. comes from that book. Um, yeah, and we have many copies of this book because you actually cannot get it in Veritas and it's it's going to cost you with shipping over 20 euros. So you get it for half that price mm-hmm. in uh, with us. So yeah, send us as well an email if you wish it or if you would like to come to, um, if you're in Dublin and you would like to come to our prayer meetings and also if you wish to participate in the book study, uh, we're, we're doing the final chapter, but still um, you know, you're very welcome to join because we'll be really kind of, it's kind of going to be summarizing and bringing all of the charge of the body for beginners into full kind of, you know, mm-hmm. focus, uh, focus yeah. and, and uh, yeah. union. So definitely try to um, join because it will be also an opportunity to join online, not just in person. So it's on Wednesday at 7 p.m. next Wednesday because this Wednesday will mm-hmm. be in Donegal. So it will be next Wednesday will be the last one. All of life's big questions regarding sexuality and, and um, relationships are, are answered in that book. Amen. Um, in, like through the perspective of the church's mm-hmm. eyes, yeah. It's very concise. Mm-hmm. And I like the questions at the end of each chapter as well because it, it gets you to take on board what you've learned in the chapter mm-hmm. and to really mull it over and think about it mm-hmm. and sort of personalize it, you know, mm-hmm. which is... Yeah, yeah. I think um, just to thank both of you particularly for, for um, having me so involved this year because um, when I consider the talents and gifts that I've been given, um, like... I love to read, um, I love to go on mission, love to play musical instruments, um, make new friends, travel. Pure and Heart has provided me with all of the above. Um, <laughs> Outlets for all. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so he really he really does uh, yeah. hear the cry of our hearts and he really does respond to that. Praise God, yeah. 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 Praise God, yeah, and no, it's been yeah, truly a uh, wonderful year. Um, mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. s- since since last summer, since World Youth Day coming back, it Such has first. its challenges. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, there's been so much fruit, and it's like you know, the Lord always prepares the way. And you know, maybe you're going through a tough time at the moment, and maybe you're like lost, and you don't know like if you're good enough, or if God hears your prayer, or where are you going, and you have all these <coughs> life questions. You know, um, like remember that it's all. Only God surpasses all of that. He He literally has overcome everything. All our doubt, all our fears, He's overcome it. And whatever that you know, hurt or disappointment or betrayal or whatever that that bad feeling that's or or event or experience that we're going through right now, it will all pass. All of this mm-hmm. will pass. And and there's always a resurrection. There's mm-hmm. always hope. Um, mm-hmm. Because our God is our God is a God of love and he only wants to mm-hmm. give us love, true mm-hmm. love. Mm-hmm. And in abundance, in absolute mm-hmm. complete abundance. So mm-hmm. we really encourage you, you know, if you're resting and you feel like, oh I don't know and oh, I have so many questions, like just start with just small things, you know, and start with maybe like getting into a community, you know, yeah. join a community, be part of a prayer group and and slowly build your build your relationship with the Lord. He wants a relationship with you. Mm-hmm. This, you know, true and lasting, enduring, virtuous friendships that have come from this. And um, when a friendship is based off of something other than, I suppose, just pleasure and utility. Um, for instance, it, there's friends I've hung out with in college just to go through the assignments with or the work with um, or friends that I would have just gone on different trips with through, through the years but there was never really faith as that underlying basis um, Pure and Hearts provided me with friendships that are more enduring uh, mm-hmm. because the basis is stronger and the foundation mm-hmm. is firmer and uh, I guess um, Matthew 7 I believe it is if your house is built on firm foundations it would stand the storm um, but if it's built on you know unstable foundations when the storm comes it'll just blow away yeah yeah yeah, no, it's it just, it brought to mind, actually, when you said a friend from college, actually, recently, <laughs> I had this guy, Matthew Grant, um, that he, I was, I studied politics and economics in UCD, and he was in my economics class, and he was always in the front, 
and he was so intelligent, super smart. And whenever we had like assignments or whatever, we would kind of, I'd always kind of try to sit with them. But they're lovely fellas as well. They're very well intentioned and they, they, they're they kind of like, they're not in the faith at all, but they, there's something with them that was kind of like, oh my goodness, you are so, you're so focused on the good and you mm-hmm. want the good for others. Mm-hmm. And they never thought that you were taking advantage of them, right. even though they helped me so much. But they said that I helped them. But I know right. I felt like they helped me more. But this guy comes in um, and uh, it, it was, I think it was two Thursdays ago. And I haven't seen him since like final year, like since I finished Aww. economics. He comes in to the beer and hard doors. I'm like, Matthew, he's like, Helen, <laughs> I can't believe you're here. He's like, oh, Helen, gosh. what Aww. have you been doing? I was like, I've been doing this since college. Aww. And then he's like, oh, I'm working in like, he's working some um, risk assurance and doing accounting and Aww. he loves all the financial maths and Aww. everything. And it's incredible. He has his rosary beads over his Aww. neck and I was like, wow. I was like, <laughs> now it makes sense. You know, like, it's like amazing, <laughs> you know. That's deeply That's really touching, cool. yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he's like, he was like in college like oh I wasn't in my faith at all yeah. but he said yeah, yeah. he's like his mom was praying for him praying for him and he's like he's he like, was seeking he was seeking yes. something yes. and yes. it was amazing and he was like I remember you like in class like I remember you were like kind of talking about faith and God and he was kind of agnostic and we were kind of having debates but anyway <laughs> but it just right. shows what God does and how God brings you know his, his children together and yeah. he wants us all to come back to him to his church the silence the whole time yes and yeah. to be a bearer of light and to um I suppose, yeah, provide that, maybe that alternative message that the world is not hearing. And to be a witness as much as anything else, uh, a witness of peace, joy, Mm -hmm. hope, love. And um, that's instantly going to make people curious, I think. Mm. Yeah. Praise God. So we're going to have to come to the end. (laughs) Wrap it up. Well, that was very touching. And thank you both. Thank you, Alan. Thank having you having for yeah. your, for your time. Looking to the mission for yes. the next few days. Yes, yes. pray for us on mission. Do pray for us, please. And if you want any information about anything we've discussed in this show, info at pureinheart.ie would be more than happy to give you anything you need. And that's it for now. So we'll see you next Tuesday, God willing. God bless you all. God bless.